Welcome to the walkthrough of installing the Deadline 6 Render Farm client software from Thinkbox Software. I'm your support person Dwight, here to walk you through the process. For this video, we'll be installing onto a Mac OS X system. First, you'll need to obtain the install files, which can be done by requesting them from our sales team at sales at thinkboxsoftware.com, and they'll send you a link. Once you have the DMG file downloaded, double-click it, and a window will pop up containing .app files for both repository and client. Choose the one you need and drag it to your desktop. If you are running Deadline 5 or earlier, you must install the client again. If you do not already have the Deadline 6 repository installed, please watch that video first. The client installer will install all the client applications required for submitting, monitoring, and rendering your jobs, so we recommend installing the client on every machine in your network, including workstations and render nodes. Double-click the deadline installer, verify your password, and you'll be greeted with the main setup screen. Once you click Next, you will be brought to a licensing agreement, which you can read over and accept in order to continue. Next, you'll choose the install directory. It is up to you where it will be. Once you've chosen the install location, the next page will have you identify the location of the repository and the license server. If the repository is on another machine, you would enter its network path. Do not use the SABA path directly in the installer. Instead, you will use the mount location under volumes. If it is on the same machine, you would enter the local path as I'm doing here. Typically, we do not recommend running the deadline slave on the repository machine. If you are running in license free, which is two slaves or less, you can leave the license server location empty. If you have more than two slaves, you will need to have a license and the license server installed and running at this point on your network. You can enter the license server here in the format of the at symbol and then the server name without spaces. If the server does not use the default port, you would then add the port number to the beginning, for example, for example, 27009 at ThinkServe. If you do not have a license yet, you can contact our sales team for a 30-day temporary license for as many nodes as you need to see how well Deadline works across all of your slaves. Next, we'll be asked if we want to launch the slave when the launcher begins. We recommend having this enabled for render nodes and disabled for workstations. Finally, we are ready to install and can let the installer run and get the deadline client set up on our machine. So that installs the deadline client, and we're now ready to launch the monitor from the applications folder, and we can start throwing in jobs at will. You can see the monitor launching now. Thank you for watching this video. If there are any other aspects of our software you'd like to see explained in video, please do not hesitate to let us know. And of course, please check out our website at thinkboxsoftware.com.